Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here. Now, earlier this morning, Xbox released their new prices for their new consoles, the Series S and the Series X. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Series S because I'm actually going to wait to talk about the Series X a little more when the PS5 comes out because I think that's definitely going to be the main competitor. The Series S, though, is still a big deal. So, it is coming in for $300, which is about the same price as you can get a Series One uh, S, I believe, right now. Which, hey, if you're getting newer, faster specs and you will have longer longevity with it, that's an awesome price. So $300, and it apparently can run 1440p at 120 FPS. Now, the real question is, what games is that? That's really all that matters. I mean, it could be Minecraft. It could be, like, a super low end super easy to run game obviously you're not going to be running games like crisis or microsoft flight simulator at that frame rate or resolution but it's obviously interesting to see now i've said this before i've never actually said this on a youtube video but you never actually just have the price of a console because typically you're going to be playing with your friends you're going to have to pay yearly monthly whatever for that now the cheapest way you can do that is paying 60 dollars a year for online access which I'm gonna say this console generation will last about seven years so that is six that's about four hundred and twenty dollars it's more than this console and I'm actually gonna talk about is it a good deal or not now I actually made this parts list and we're gonna talk about so the average price is about seven hundred and seventy dollars because I put the four hundred and twenty dollars you're gonna spend for online access plus another three hundred dollars for the console and then about $50 because most likely you're going to buy another controller, maybe break your controller. Who knows? Depends on how mad you get at whatever game you're playing like COD. So we're going to actually go through this parts list and I'm going to explain that you might not get, you might get some 1440p, but you're not going to get 120 FPS. And neither is this, honestly. They'll say that, but it's going to be tough to do it. So I have a Ryzen 3 3100. This is four core processor. Same thing as a 7700K, which was top of the line at Intel three years ago. I've said this before in other videos. You can check it out. But it's an amazing processor, especially for the price. Then we got a B450M by ASRock. You see, it doesn't definitely look the best motherboard, but hey, it's not the top. It's not the top end CPU. You can run this easily on this motherboard, and you can even do a little bit of overclocking if you really want to. Then we got G skill 16 gigs of 3000 memory now for this I think 16 gigs is really what you need for everything especially now in 2020 so I decided let's instead of going for 3600 or 3200 which is what I normally go with let's go with 3000 for slightly cheaper and get 16 gigs instead of 8 gigs so that you can last your PC will last longer and you can do more things than just have a game open you might be able to have a chrome tab open or you can have like three chrome tabs open and no game with the amount that that takes who well then we're here to just 512 gigabyte ssd this is gonna hold your games it's typically what comes in an xbox i believe it doesn't actually say but yes it's just gonna have 512 so we're literally the same thing obviously we have really no idea what kind of SSD it is. It could be just a standard SSD like I have in here. But we couldn't fit a hard drive later down the road if you really want to spend more. You can put like a 2 terabyte in for about $50. And that's a lot cheaper because I think typically 2 terabytes go for slightly more for Xbox because you have to plug them in. And you can actually hold more games later down the road. Or you can just delete them later. Now we're going to go to our graphics card this is really what's going to be running your games and really what's going to change the PC it's an ASRock Radeon RX 5600 XT now normally when you think of AMD you think of the 5700 and the 5700 XT now this is actually a slightly newer card this released maybe in February I believe I remember they actually changed the speed of this, so it's slightly faster so now for $270, you can get an awesome graphics card for the price. 
for your case. Cases don't really matter. I just like to get something that looks all right and has three ca has case fans so you can have your PC stay cool. Now we have the Rosal Nautilus. This is actually what my streaming slash recording PC is in. It's an awesome looking case. I love the space that you have in it and you have decent cable management. And hey, if you ever want to put a DVD drive in like I do, you can do it. So you can run whatever DVDs you may have. Then just a cheap 500 watt. This is by EVGA. I trust EVGA. It's 80 plus bronze, so it's not going to blow up. It's very important. And you can expand later down the road, saying you're only using about 300 watts right now. So you can upgrade your CPU. Maybe you can upgrade your graphics card or just honestly upgrade whatever you want. Now, I included a couple of things. Now, you can actually get this for cheaper if, let's say, you don't need a monitor. You're already playing your console games on a monitor. So you can get... For about $86, you can get cheap 1080p monitor. It'll do the job if you need one. I mean, obviously, it doesn't look like the best, but hey, it's just a monitor. Just upgrade it down the road if you ever really want to. Then, just a keyboard, because honestly, on PC, even though you might see all these nice mechanical keyboards, your keyboard is not going to hurt your gaming experience as much as your mouse. That's why the mouse actually costs way more. Because a good mouse is way more important for your aiming because you don't need you don't aim with a keyboard. And if you do, tell me how I'm interested. <laughs> and then there's no mouse pad or anything, because honestly you can use a piece of paper, change it every couple months. And we're at seven hundred and seventy dollars. One thing I did not actually say was you don't need a CPU cooler. This will come with a you see this. It comes with thermal paste. This was an awesome cooler. It's worked to my twenty six hundred X before overclocked. So it can definitely hold a 3100 overclocked. So if there's anything else that you guys want to ask, leave a comment down below. Subscribe. It's pretty cool. And I'll leave the parts list down below in the description for you guys. If you ever just want to see what's the best I can get instead of a console. If you just want to make that switch to PC. But there's obviously other ways that you could actually go around building a setup. You could get used parts. You could try and get free stuff from like your friends, even though I definitely wouldn't recommend that if you still want them to be your friends. <laughs> um, that's all I'm going to say. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.